like, who the heck likes Helen Hunt? I do! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another DC Collectibles action figure review on the DC Designer Series and Lucia DC Bombshells Katana. I did pick this up at my local comic book shop, Coastside Comics. If you're on the coast and you want comics, yeah, you go to Coastside Comics. But if you're not in the San Francisco Bay Area and you're trying to get your DC Collectibles, you can get them at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. This one was a must get for me. On the side, you can see a nice image of Katana, and then on the very back, you can see the other figures from this set. I actually only picked up Mira right over here. That's actually the only one out of these four that I wanted aside from Katana. And then on the side, it says number eight, and then there's not much more on the top and not much more on the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Katana out of the packaging, and for several obvious reasons, Reasons this was the figure that I had to get from this wave. I really do like it a lot, but I do have gripes. A little bit more gripes than I wish I had, but I still think it's a beautiful looking piece. That's the point of these, is for them to look beautiful, and doesn't she look gorgeous? She absolutely does. Anyway, let's get a closer look at her one accessory, and then we'll get a closer look at Katana. So it's a disappointing fact that we only get the one accessory with this figure. All the other bombshells figures that I have are from the wave one bombshells. All had multiple accessories, like interchangeable hands and other items that came with them, but yeah, we just get the one katana, which does feel a little on the short side too, I don't know, am I tripping off of that? But I just feel like it's a little bit smaller than it should be, but yeah, she holds it in either hand pretty well, so you saw it in the right hand earlier, but yeah, you could put it in the left hand right over here, and you can see it right over there, so fits, but there is no weapon storage on her at all. So I had a hard time finding a comic book cover with katana on it, and I did find a print where she mostly has all red for her outfit, but I guess they had changed changed it at some point. I couldn't find a comic cover with Katana on there, so I don't know if they ever went around to doing that or if she was part of a collage or something, but this is the image I was able to find, and I think they did a great job interpreting this into action figure form. Uh, it looks like the statues also have the black mixed in there, so there may have been something I had missed, but I do think she does have a pretty good looking face. I just think that the distance from her eyes, from her nose right over here, is a little bit too long. I don't know. Maybe a little picky about it, but yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, the deco for the rising sun is just a little off center but you know it should be more lined up with the mouth and the nose right over here so that's another little nitpick but I do really like that light blue shadowing effect that we see over the white over here I think that looks fantastic I'm very pleased with that I really like her flesh tone a lot get a little bit of gold right over there at the top for that little clip and then we have the chopsticks are those the uh, chopsticks right there in the very back but looks pretty good and then looking at the rest of her we get some nice beautiful deco over here and a big old uh, katanas right there. And yeah, got some nice deco throughout. I really like how the gold looks. Nice bright silver. And yeah, my fingers are all dried out. I've been drumming like crazy. I have three gigs in a row this weekend. And uh, yeah, so if you're holding the sticks for long periods of time, as on top of me teaching and stuff, yeah, it just dries out your hands. But anyway, looking at the skirt over here and the lovely legs, I think they look gorgeous. I like them a lot. And this side right here, we have the dragon tattoo looking beautiful. And we get open to chanclas looking fantastic. That made me very happy. You know, with me being a whole butt leg footman, you know what I mean? I think this was awesome, and I did have to try to remove these. Now, these are not really supposed to be uh, removable, but of course, I had to go for it. You can see I ripped some paint off right there. But yeah, if you wanted to heat this up first and try that, you could. You know, you could have a barefoot katana, which, you know, is not a bad look at all. But one thing I like that they did here is that they gave her this pointing finger right here for the shush pose, you know, which she has on that print. So I thought that was great that they did that. Now, for articulation, which is actually not too bad, you can get her looking up quite a bit, which is awesome. And she will look down some. You get side to side movement over here and you get a great amount of neck pivot. Wow. And then you get shoulder joints that only move upward that, well they move upward this much. There you go. And you just have to really push that joint. Oh my god, it's scary. You want to push down right over here, not like on the bicep, but closer to the shoulder because uh, I fear that it might snap. But you get rotation all the way up here. You get the bicep swivel. You get the double jointed elbows that go all the way in. Then you get a wrist swivel. It hinges up and down. Then she has a diaphragm joint that turns side to side right here. You get some diaphragm pivot. Moves forward a little bit at the diaphragm moves back some. It is a little bit hindered by the bow right over here. You get a little bit of ab crunching and then it moves back quite a bit. Now you get some decent hip joints where she can do the splits and then she does kick forward quite a bit bit and then she does move Ooh, oh no I ripped off her leg this has actually happened to me a few times so that's a little bit of a gripe 
for me, but I'm able to easily pop it back on, but still, yeah, see, it's back on there. But she doesn't really kick back that much. She does have a bit of a churn right over there at the upper thigh. Great double jointed knees, and then the ankles move down. They do move up, and she has a beautiful ankle pivot. Yeah, I like the articulation on these bombshells. Definitely better than the icons, except for this keeps popping off on me. One thing I forgot to mention about the figure is I do wish the bottom of her dress right here was made with a more pliable material. I feel like it's too stiff, and it kind of hinders her ability to get into dynamic poses while just standing on her feet. I tend to like to pose her more on a dynamic stand. But anyway, measuring out the figure, she is standing just about a little over seven inches tall. Then comparing Katana next to a couple other DC bombshells, we have the Wave 1 Wonder Woman and Harley Quinn. And a couple of things I notice over here is I do feel like Katana is too tall, especially next to the Wonder Woman, right? Shouldn't she be shorter, closer to the height of Harley Quinn? Also, I really do like the difference in skin tone. I think her skin tone does look good compared to these two, right? It is slightly different. They do have different ethnic backgrounds, so I thought that was pretty cool. Then here's the DC Bombshells Katana next to my only other Katana figure in my collection. We have the DC Multiverse Suicide Squad movie Katana. And then comparing Katana to your average six inch scale figure, here she is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ah, crap, I broke the figure. Yeah, right at the hip over there, the leg popped off while I was trying to get her into a dynamic pose. And while putting it back on, uh, the peg that goes across uh, through the crotch and attaches to the two legs right there, it snapped on me. So yeah, it's held together right now with super glue so that's very frustrating other than that I really do like the piece I don't know if I'm gonna try to seek a replacement we'll see how this goes I do want to put her on my display shelf with my other DC bombshell so other than the break I do like it uh, which sucks because I did get her into a lot of poses and I did this whole review without it breaking it just broke just a minute ago so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button let me know what you think of the figure let me know what you think of the review if you're interested in the legendary collector Shardimus Prime t-shirt Pre-orders are available right now at ShardmasPrime.net. I need to get 55 pre-orders in. So far, we got three shirts, so I need 52 more pre-orders in, and then we can start getting those pre-orders out. So if you're thinking about picking one up, please act sooner than later. Also, if you want to see more Shardimus Prime videos, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to ensure that my videos are popping up in your feed. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at ToyNewsEye.com and ShardimusPrime.net. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, new Shard Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.